y'all welcome back to Chris's kitchen so with all the ice and snow and everything that's happening around us figured we'd make a comfort food that's really easy so that we can get back outside and get back to playing and enjoying our time off so today we're going to make some pasta fagioli um, and this is like your Olive Garden pasta you know with the noodles and the beans and the spinach however we don't have spinach but I do have some red kale so we're going to substitute that in but everything else will be super easy and you'll get it start to finish in like 30 minutes. So we'll move y'all a little bit closer and we'll get started. Okay y'all, so I have a little bit of oil just heating up in the bottom of our pan. Uh, to this I'm going to add a pound of ground sausage. Now this is an Italian style sausage. You can get, get the kind that's got the casings and just kind of squeeze it out of the casings. But I have this kind already on hand so super simple we're just going to break this up now you do not need a pan this big this isn't going to make a ton of food um, it's just just wash this and it's readily available so that's what we're going with i like simp simplicity and convenience so just breaking up our ground sausage and i'm also going to toss in a chopped onion you want a small to medium onion for this. You don't need a whole lot. Now this can easily double or triple, but we're just making a small batch so that we can have some lunch. And since we have a ton of soup left over from yesterday, I don't want to add another one to it. So go in small scale today. But just this is more of a medium sized onion, but usually I'd try and do like a small onion. Right. We're just gonna mix this around and let the onion cook down and let the sausage brown up. And we'll see y'all back in a few minutes. So now that our onions have softened and our meat is pretty much brown, we're going to add in about a teaspoon of minced garlic and let that cook for just a minute and then we'll start pouring in our ingredients. Okay, we're going to start with just a little bit of pepper. going to add in a can of drained and rinsed cannellini beans. A can of diced tomatoes. Now I have the petite diced tomatoes. You can use whatever you have. And you're not going to drain those. I'm just going to mix that around a little bit. We're going to add in two cans of chicken broth. We're going to add in a cup of shells. Now I would normally prefer to use the macaroni noodles, but I don't have any. So again, go with what you got. And this is uncooked pasta. a cup of pasta. We're going to let this cook for about 10 minutes and see if we need to add any extra water just to um, kind of thin it out because we want to keep that soup consistency. But our noodles are going to um, soak up a lot of this chicken broth and this juice. So we've got it on medium heat. We're going to cover it and let it cook for about 8 to 10 minutes and then we'll check on it. Okay, y'all, so we're about eight minutes in. We're gonna stir it all up. We're gonna add in our kale. Now, if you're using spinach, go till your pasta is pretty much done. Um, our pasta probably could go another minute or two, but kale is gonna take longer to wilt down. So, I just have a small bunch of kale that um, I've washed and torn up into some big pieces. Some of these probably need to be a little bit smaller, but 
if you have baby spinach or um, just regular spinach in general. Just wash it and toss it in. It's only going to take a minute or two to wilt down. The kale is going to take just a few minutes longer. But this is what I have, so this is what we're going with. And will be just as good. Now the kale is going to add a little bit more of a bitter component, so we may have to add some extra seasoning to it. But we shall see. So we're going to let this cook. I'm going to mix it all in and cover it for about another five minutes. And we'll come back and taste it and season it up a little bit more. And also see if we need to add any more water. But don't worry, this kale is going to cook down just like your spinach will. So we'll see y'all back in about five minutes. Okay y'all, so it's been about five minutes. We're gonna uncover it. And I can already see we do need a little bit extra water because we do want this more of a soup than like a stew. But let's add a little bit of water and let it start heating up and we're gonna taste it and season it up a little bit more. So I have two cups of water here. We're gonna start with about a cup and see how we're doing. a little bit thinner of a consistency. So maybe about a cup and a half. And let this all warm up and we're going to taste it and see what seasoning we need to add. Okay y'all, so I'm going to add a little bit of seasoned salt and a little bit of Italian Whoop! seasoning. Well, there went that. All right, so we're gonna try this again. I'm gonna add a little bit of seasoned salt. And I'm gonna add a little bit of Italian seasoning and see if this helps kind of liven it up. I almost feel like it needs a little bit more tomato, but we're gonna see how this works first. But as y'all can see, a very simple soup and easy ingredients. Just don't drop the seasoning container into your soup. And if you do, life goes on. Let's see. I was trying to get a little bit of everything. I have more noodles in here than I thought. All right. Much better. All right. Mm. We're going to serve it up and turn this off and top it with a little bit of Parmesan cheese. And I'll show y'all what it looks like. All right, y'all. So it's all done. We add a little bit of Parmesan cheese to the top. And we're going to sit down and have a cozy, easy lunch. Like I said, I use the shells, but usually prefer the macaroni noodles. They just are a little bit bigger and hold a little bit better. But use what you've got and just make it enjoyable. We'll see y'all next time. Thank y'all for joining us.